Hi, and this is Jesse from the Hazura Cloud marketing team. I wanted to give you a little preview of an article that we just finished putting together, and this is the end product of what we, what we came up with. The project itself is concerning content enhancement, where you have some type of short-lived process, uploading data, uploading an image, uploading a video, and then a long-running process that happens in the background, transcoding that video into a stream format. Uh, in the case of our project here, it is object recognition on the image. So we'll upload an image, and then that will trigger an event at a cloud handler, which will then return tags back to our system. We go into detail about how that all works, why you would do that, and how this, this system works with Hazura uh, specifically. Uh, but this is the end product that I wanted to give you a little sneak peek of. What we have running here is in the background, I have a subscription in the Hazura console that is currently running on, and it's looking for all the uploads that are scoped down to user number seven. And if I see here inside of Postman, I have the ability to upload a new photo uh, to the user 7's account. So I will go ahead and uh, send this now. And what we'll see happen here as our cold start warms up in the background, we immediately get the uh, URL that was uploaded and persisted to Cloudinary, written to Hazura, and returned back to us. That's our short-lived process, and our user would be able to immediately see the results of a successful upload. In the background, which is just updated now, those tags were sent off to an additional system to go ahead and analyze that photo and return the results back to us. That's an incredibly powerful paradigm that's often referred to as functional reactive programming, where you're able to have different data flows, short-lived processes, long-lived processes, and be able to subscribe to those results that do not require any additional details or even keeping the application active by the user. Our article goes into a lot of detail again about why and how and, and how Hazura makes that more or less quite simple. We hope you enjoyed the article. We hope you enjoyed this little video. If you wanna see some more video walkthrough of how we actually built this for the visual learners out there, do let us know and that could be something you might see coming soon. Have a nice day, bye.